There can be a hundred influencers in the room and 99 of them won't convince you how f***ing amazing this brand is. But it only takes one to let you in the house. Our house, your rules. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you an exciting video into my house. House Laboratories, to be exact. I am showing you guys today my review, my first impressions of House Labs, brought to you by Lady Gaga, founded by Lady Gaga, and co-created with her best friend and makeup artist, Sarah Tano. I am so excited to show you guys this brand. It's really, really sickening. And look at my makeup. Today, I'm sporting you guys face lace, a graphic green eye, full coverage lashes, and lips and of course the liner the eye liner which you'll find out a little bit later but I do want to talk about the launch party the launch party was awesome it was amazing I got invited and she did this beautiful speech right before this grand 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 unveiling for the first time to the public of her new brand house laboratories it was so amazing I got to party with her behind the DJ booth she was so 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 kind she has this beautiful aura about her we took photos and also my team got to take photos with her and it was just such a blast and I want to tell you Lady Gaga thank you so much I love you so much and thank you so much for having me and if you guys want to see how I did this look and all the products subscribe and keep on watching all right guys it is a house party this is the first look at the PR package here on my channel how cute it's kind of like a, a rooftop to a house Let's open it. Whoa. Whoa. This is House Laboratories. A beautiful message by Lady Gaga. I won't get into it, but these... Oh, up here are face lace. I will show you in a bit, but the PR package opens like this. And this is the house. So on top, there are six... Uh, lip glosses, six pencils, and six liquid eye shadows right here. I love this. Um, like I said in the beginning, I went to the party and it was so sickening. My background is kind of emulating that Nico um, lighting, her creative director. I got a picture with him right here. So cute, so cute. But this is so so gorgeous let me get into the product all right first things first i do want to talk about these these are like face lace which is like stickers for the face i've used it in my drag uh tutorial before this is so cute because it says house guest so this is kind of like a collaboration with phyllis cohen and there are two styles here right here we have the armor wing tips number one these are eye armor stickers so it comes like so these are stickers that you can use as a wing tip in case you guys have difficulty i've never used this i'll be using this today so stay tuned and over here this one is the armor mask number one this is so gorgeous it reminds me kind of like her super bowl look and this is just absolutely stunning especially you know with halloween coming up costume parties renaissance parties like this is the way to go if you are not as advanced so definitely check out face lace they also have other styles on their site and on their instagram which i love and it's so cool that they have a collaboration with um house laboratories now to the makeup all right so for the cosmetics we have here the eyeliner the lip liner, the liquid eye shimmer powder, and then this is the lip gloss. Just off the bat, so cool she came out with a liner to go with the wingtips. And then also cool that she came out with the lip liners. And then she has these two right here. I will say off the bat that it was a little bit hard to identify what was what. There is a small sticker on the bottom here that says it, but if it's if you have difficulty reading products, um, this might be a little bit hard because the, the print is so, 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 so small. And there are six colors of each. So if you were just grabbing in your bag on the go, you really have to really look. The last thing I want is to put the eyeshadow on my lip and then the lip gloss on my eye. So that's just one thing that I noticed that I, I wish that there was the product name somewhere on this packaging other than the bottom, maybe like the back here because there's room. But other than that, I love how you can see through here. This is like a lucite kind of effect and it's beautiful font and of course the component itself. All right guys, so right here I have the six Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powders. Really, really cool. There are six beautiful colors. You do have to shake it. Do you hear there's a little pearl in there? There's a pearl in there, right? Am I crazy? Let me call the marketing team. 
Let me see if I can name them. We have Dynasty Rose Bitch, Chain Ballerina Legend, Biker, and Aphrodite. These are all beautiful shades, and the retail price is on the screen. I think I'm gonna do something with the green. I'm really, really, really excited. All right, guys, so next I have the lip glosses. I'm gonna zip through these. These are beautiful lip glosses. I will say the applicator has like a little bit of a curve. It is so so cute. It's really unique because it has like a little bit of a well on the doe foot and it has like a curve to fit the shape of your lips. So right here I have Scream, I have Venus, I have Entrance or Entrance, Blaze, which is so, so pretty, Attitude, and Corset. These are all pretty beautiful colors. I would wear every single one of these. It's really funny because I thought Gaga would have had really, really crazy colors. The eye shimmers are very unconventional, dark and gray and editorial. Whereas these lips, everybody can wear these. Literally every skin tone could wear every single one of these. I'm gonna have a hard time picking one. So there is no scent to the lip glosses and the weight of the product actually feels luxurious and it feels good in the hand. It's very, very beautiful. Again, just going back to like picking up the eye shimmer versus the lip gloss. If you're heading out the door and you wanna reach for your stuff, if you do happen to have both products, just try to know which one is the lip gloss versus the eyeshadow. All right, next I have the pencils. I am so excited for the pencils because y'all know I love lining my lips. I have yet to get lip filler and I don't think I will. Maybe, I don't know, y'all hate it. Um, anyway, anyways, I have these lip liners. Gaga loves lip liners. She was raving about them in her speech. And over here, there are six colors. There is Drag, Slayer, Myth, Rule, which I am in love with. I think Rule is gonna be me. Rule, Endpoint, and Ride. Again, looking at these lip liners here, they are all very wearable colors, which I think is so, so beautiful. These would look good on any skin tone, anybody, and I'm excited to wear them. Come on, house. And as I was swatching these pencils, they feel really, really, really beautiful. I'm picky because sometimes pencils, mm -mm, they be making my lips look lopsided, look crazy. And you want them to stay on but give enough pigment, especially on top of all your makeup, especially when you're overlining. I mean, I have a good feeling that they'll really look Anyways, over here we have the House Laboratories Eye Lie Ner. Emphasis on lie. This is in the color punk. This is a matter than matte liquid eyeliner. And it's actually thicker than a regular liner. And it has like a nice weight to it. And I love the point right here. It is so, so, so beautiful. And I love how fine. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful. This is, oh my God. Wait, are you jealous? Oh. <laughs> she signs my hand. I just forged her signature on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to try this. And without further ado, let's just jump right into a makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and take Dynasty right here. And I wanna go for this like winged editorial effect. Oh shoot, I forgot to shake it. See, if you're in a rush, it says you have to shake. So I'm gonna try to go for this editorial effect. It's actually more pigmented on the eye than in the swatch because I feel like the product will be more pigmented if you shake it because I did not shake it at first and swatched it on my hand and it came out a lot thinner. I just, because there's so many heavy um, glitter particles in here, you wanna make sure they're dispersed evenly. I don't know if all the time I'm going to remember to shake, but I will try my best. And it says on the website, you can either layer this or shear it out with your finger. So, but because this is a house look, I want this to look fierce. Look at how precise that was. I didn't even use any brush or anything. I actually like it. This is actually pretty easy. I'm done. <laughs> it did get in my eye a little bit just because I gooped too much like by the lash line, but Nothing a little Q-tip can't fix. But I love the precision of this. I just need to clean it up a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this side. All I did to prep my eyes was just use my concealer and set it with a little bit of loose powder because that's just how I normally do my makeup. And then I'm layering this on top. 
All right, guys, so I am done applying the Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder. It looks really, really cool. This eye is actually really easy. There was no eyeshadows involved. The only thing is that you need to shake it. So I applied about three layers. No creasing. It was creasing at first, obviously, because it's wet, but you need to let it set and build up, and I'm really, really happy. And the other only thing is that you have to have a steady hand in applying this, and I use no brushes whatsoever. So this formula was really, really good in this applicator, and it's really, really, really nice. And I'm really excited. So next, I'm going to go ahead and take my Armor Wing Tips. And if you guys look closely at this right here, the top has a thicker wing and the bottom has a more thin, elongated wing. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom one and apply that to kind of aid in the fierceness of the shape. And I'm going to have some tweezers assist me. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take the Punk Liquid Liner. I like how this feels. It's really, really nice and thick. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes like I normally do. Oh my God, it's like blending seamlessly. So if this was me on the regular, I would apply real eyeshadow on top of this liquid shimmer powder, but I love the sticker. Oh my gosh, do you see this right here? This is the sticker, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. How easy is this? Can I say I'm super impressed with the wing? If I was Lady Gaga and I was performing all the time, bitch, I'd be doing this too, because I ain't got no time to fuss and muss with the wig, and it is actually pretty symmetrical. All right guys, so I found some raggedy lashes and my shadow has had, had time to dry and I'm super impressed with how it looks, especially in person. I think the only thing that I would do differently with the stickers is apply a little bit of lash glue, let it get tacky just to reinforce it a little bit stronger, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes. All right guys, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. This is my biggest pet peeve. And don't forget to pinch your lashes because that's, that is so annoying, is when you have beautiful lashes and then you see these like little low hangers of hair in front of your beautiful eyes. All right, so now that I have my lashes on, on the bottom, I feel like I'm missing a little bit of something, something. So I'm gonna take that same Dynasty color and a smudger brush right here. And they say you can smudge it if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit. Why did I tap it like it was powder? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just smudge this along the lower lash line just to add a little satin satin. It looks so pretty with a little bit of that shimmer under the eye. And you know what's actually a little bit more comfortable than powder because sometimes when I'm using eyeshadow under there, it flips up into my pupils. So using a liquid is actually much more comfortable. So what I'm doing really quick right here is just putting a little bit of lash glue Underneath, it is recommended to use it on bare skin. I just, but you know what? It's a little bit difficult, but this dries clear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that to get tacky and just pop them right on. All right guys, so I think I wanna jazz up this look and put a little rhinestone because when I was a lady guy, I had a little rhinestone. Cute. And I found these just in downtown LA. You could probably find them on Amazon. I'll link some down below. How fun. And to complete the eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some bottom mascara after the rhinestones. All right guys, so I just contoured my nose and reinforced my bake. There are no complexion products yet with House Laboratories. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Rule by Gaga and line my lips. The pencils are so, so nice. They remind me of MAC, and what I look for in a pencil is something that's durable and that can perform and that's fit into it. Because a lot of the times, pencils that are weak snap, break off, and they don't, they don't have pigment. So since there's no lipstick or liquid lipstick, I filled in all my lips with the pencil roll, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this lip gloss called Attitude. Oh, I'm so excited to try this because of the, the curved Dofa. You see how it fits in my lip? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. And for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my favorites, Peaches by MAC. Just bring some life to the face. I love this blush. I love my look so much. I think it's really beautiful and wearable that isn't too avant-garde out there that do you wanna try house labs? And this is a beautiful way to wear it. I'm gonna take this MAC Kyler called Snow Flushed. Uh, this is so gorgeous, it has like a pink gold sheen. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some Fix Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and change and I'll be right back for the finished look. All right guys, so I threw on my wig. This is two stacked wigs. One has like a root and one is more like 
a Britney color, more gold than blonde. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and take my face armor right here. This is so cute. This is my face lace. And I'm going to apply it like the picture. Make sure you guys are super gentle with this because it can fall off. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce it with glue just because I have wearing so much makeup. I'm gonna put glue on this sticky part right here. But the thing is you only got one shot. <laughs> so make it count. Guys, it is so much better with the glue as you apply it. So I'm gonna do that to the top, especially if you wanna wear the face lace up here because if you sweat like me, you gonna need it. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. Can you take a gander at my beat? Face. I was so hesitant on the face lace, but I'm actually more obsessed with the makeup the more I look at it in this hair, y'all. This is two wigs stacked, pinned and sewed onto my bald ass head, but this is just so much fun of all the products. I know you guys want to know my recommendations. I am obsessed with Dynasty. This is the liquid shimmer powder. It is so beautiful, and I was so impressed at how it could sculpt on its own. I was so tempted to pick up a brush, but I did not. I swear to you, it is literally so good when you layer it on and I got this full-on graphic eye I will do this more because less blending less time and I am also obsessed with the lip liner rule which I am wearing I've been getting compliments all night from my friends and then also I love attitude this is just so beautiful like look this lip is so me also I am obsessed with the armor wing tips the little face lace stickers of the eyeliner look it literally blends in seamlessly to the eyeliner I love the eyeliner as well but this wing <laughs> will save my ass some time so I can't wait to try more of this just make sure to apply some glue also my last recommendation would be words from Lady Gaga herself is to be kind to one another and to yourself that really resonated with me if you guys are watching you are meant to be here you are loved and you were born this way baby if you guys want to see more videos like this, reviews, things, maybe Lady Gaga on my channel, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> I've never had an applause. I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, but I want your love and I want your love. What did she say? Shoo boo and I boo a boo 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 Fashion is a lifestyle, baby. Is that what she says? Ooh, there ain't no other way. Baby, I was born this way. Baby, I was born this way.